can't get in college. I'm about to give you all a million dollar word. I'm about to give you a, a word that will separate you from every Christian in the body of Christ. To give you a word that will separate you from every believer on your job. Give you a word that will elevate you beyond levels that you can even think were possible. Now, we call Jesus people church the harvest of churches for a reason. And this word is one of those reasons. Everybody stand with me to the book of 1 Chronicles 28 and 4. This is on a whole nother realm. And it's one of my secret weapons against the enemy that's been in my heart for decades that I've never preached or shared with you all. And it's a concept that's about to blow your minds. First Chronicles 28 and 4, it reads, How be it, David said, the Lord God of Israel chose me before all the house of my father. He said he could have picked a lot of people over me to be king over Israel forever. For he have chosen Judah to be the ruler in the house of Judah, the house of my father. And among the sons of my father, he liked me. Somebody shout, he liked me to make me king over Israel. I want to use as a title today's message, make sure God likes you. You better make sure God likes you. Somebody shout, make sure God likes you. Bruce, we've been so miseducated all these years. Everybody talking about God loves me. God loves me. They so right. God loves everybody. Preach out of kind of. Everybody can yell, God loves me. The backslider yell, God loves me. The thief can yell, God loves me. The person in murder who just killed somebody can yell, God loves me. Hallelujah. whoop the do. That's not a big thing to say God loves me, for God loves everybody. The statement of a lifetime is to be able to say, God likes me. Everybody can say, God loves me. But you don't separate yourself until you say, God likes me. It's a big thing to say the hospital feeds me. Well, the hospital feeds everybody, but can you say the doctors ordered me Ruth Chris? It's not a big thing to say the former, let it rain, God let it rain on my land. But rain came down over the whole city. So it's not a big advantage when we get what everybody else gets. To separate yourself from everybody else, you better be able to make sure God likes you. Just because I love you don't mean I like you. I love a lot of people, but I don't like them. Just because I love you don't mean I don't I like you. Hallelujah. It's another level of love when I like you too. Preach. Holy Ghost. Liking you is the glue that makes my love stronger. Love is the plant, but liking you is the flower. Love is the sun, but liking you is the cool breeze that lowers my body temperature. If I love you but don't like you, I'd never be around you. Everybody is lovable, but not everybody is likable. There were times growing up in Orange Mountain, I was so bad as a child. 
I knew my mother loved me, but I understood if she didn't like me. That's why when she would get mad, she used to say, Jail, you better change your ways. Because my ways were not likable. Hallelujah. Your existence is what makes you lovable, but your ways is what make you likable. Likeability is what elevated David from all the other men in his family. From all the other men that God loved, from all the other brothers, it was David's likeability that separated him. That he said, God liked me. He chose me over my brothers. He chose me over my uncles. He chose me over the nephews and the cousins because God likes me. He liked how I didn't talk about people behind their back. He liked how I kept it real and loyal to people that were low down and dirty to me. He liked my faithfulness. He liked how I carried myself behind closed doors. He liked that I didn't try to do nobody wrong. He liked me. He liked folks face and I don't smile in your face and talk about you behind your back. He likes me. He likes me. And if you get God to like you, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man, the things that God has prepared. Do you think David was the only person God loved? But David said I was the only one he liked. David said he liked me to make me the king. Tell somebody you better make sure God likes you. David said God chose me over everybody in my family. He chose me over my father. He chose me over everybody in my father's house. My uncles, my cousins, my nephew. God chose me over my brothers, over my big brothers. Who should have come first. All because he liked me. See, a lot of people aren't blessed even though God love them. They ain't going anywhere because they're not likable. When you mean and low down, God don't like your mean spirit. When you judgmental, God don't like sinners to be judgmental. God said that you can't be a sinner and be judgmental at the same time. So if you're going to be judgmental, you better not be a sinner too. God said, how are you going to be a sinner and judgmental? I don't like that. I said, I don't like that. Hallelujah. People are not loyal and God loves loyalty. He doesn't like folks. They're not loyal. When you talk about people behind their back, God doesn't like us to talk about people behind their back. We talk about preachers and the saints. God don't like anybody that talk about his preachers and his saints. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Tell somebody hating on me will make God stop liking you. Tell somebody hating on me will make God stop liking you. When you go back to work tomorrow, tell them hating on me will make God stop liking you. (laughs) When you really chose about God, you don't got to fight nobody back. (laughs) Just their hate will cut them off. Just their own hate will make sure that God bring them back down. Just their own hate, God will make them lose their mind. Preach, Holy Ghost. Most people do everything God don't like. They rob God's entire and offering, and God don't like nobody that robs him. How many of us like people that'll rob us? Just tell the truth for real. How many of us? Like somebody say, give me your money. They, we, they rob us. How many of us going to really like them? You can tell, you can yell, God loves you all you want. 
But what separates the greats, what separates the legends, what separates the amazingly blessed people of God that transcend time and generations who name lasts forever, the historic separation is the fact that God likes you. We so busy trying to get man to like us. We're too busy flogging and faking trying to impress man and we're trying to get man's attention but the key is to make God like you. Oh, I like that. She said, preach Holy Ghost. Cynthia told me last night, she said, Emmanuel said, because you say preach Holy Ghost. She said, do you know the Holy Ghost? He said, little man said, who is the Holy Ghost? To make God say, have you considered my servant Job? He's different. I like him. He's upright in the land. I like him. Uh, that's the greatest testimony a man or a woman can have is to make God say, I like them. I like you, Job. I said it to say, have you considered my servant Job? There's none li like him. In all the earth, Joe is sure with evil. He runs from evil. God said, I like that. I like him. He don't try to compare himself with anybody else. I like him. That's why, Joseph, I don't try to compare myself with anybody or be like anybody. I don't care how much money they have because why would I try to be like somebody else that God don't like? Can't brag on me about uh, the, 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 the rich boxer if God don't like him. Why would I try to be like Denzel Washington if God don't like him? Why would I try to be like these people in Hollywood if God don't like them? Why would I try to imitate somebody that God don't like? God said, I like Joe because he don't try to slick hate on folks. When somebody bragging on him, ain't nobody say, yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, Job, this but she don't try to search the world for people to try to compare somebody to the man of God. Preach Holy Ghost. Somebody got that thing. He don't try to brag on folks he don't know in real life. And it's amazing how people will brag on folks that they don't even know. And don't say nothing about you that bless them every day. I don't care about so-and-so, so-and-so. I don't even know these people you bragging about. Why do they even care about these people you telling me about? What are they doing for God? But... Since Nick said, what are they doing for you? <laughs> Two good questions. What are they doing for God? And what are they doing for you? He don't brag on folks that ain't been there for the church. I like that about him. You only hear me brag on y'all because y'all the ones that take care of Jesus people. You don't hear me brag on no man outside of Jesus people because y'all the ones that take care of the church. Hallelujah. I don't care how much money they got. I don't care what, how big of the houses they build. I don't care who they are. If they ain't taking care of God, I, I don't care nothing about them. Uh -huh. God said, I like that about them. I like that they're loyal to people that labor in my vineyard. You don't understand these folks' ways are so low down. They're so no good. And God don't like that. Many of these folks in church every Sunday, but God don't like them. Because they've run more people away from church and they've hurt more people in church. They've talked about more people in church and they've spread more lies and rumors about people in church. And they've been two-faced to more people in church. How God going to like that? How, how's God going to like that? So it ain't about the folk that come to church. If your ways God don't like, it's about making God like your ways. How's God going to like you being unscrupulous? How's God going to like you? How is he going to like you? How do you even like yourself? 
You can't expect God to like you when you don't even like yourself. You can't even trust yourself. Your character is non-existent. Tell somebody, I want God to like me. I'm changing my ways. I'm changing my ways. I'm trying to become what God likes. I want to be the person that God made from the beginning that was in his image. God is looking for people that are in his image. That's what makes God like you, what he sees in you, when he sees his image in you. He can't do anything but like you when he sees his image of you. Good God Almighty. When he sees you are a love of his people. When he sees you praying for people, that's how you reflect his image. Jesus said, I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. When God sees you loving people, that's how he likes you. Because God said, I am love. When God sees you worshiping, that's how he likes you. Because he said, the hour cometh and now is where the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And God seeketh such to worship him. Genesis 1, 26, and God said, let us make man in our own image after our own likeness. God said, I like them because I see my image in them. I like them because I see my image in them. Did you hear that? Let us make man after our likeness. The best way to make God like you is to look like him. I want to look like God, not in facial characteristics, but in character. We want to look like God in character. I want to look like God. That's why the Bible says about God, Israel knew his acts. But Moses knew his ways. Tamla, Moses knew his ways. Psalm 103 verse 7, he made known his ways unto Moses. His acts to the children of Israel. I didn't know she was going to be here today. Stand up, Sister Tamla. Tamla's here right now. Now, Tamla now lives in Seattle, Washington. And we, not to say, we've had different nurses to try to come in and say that they can do Now, that, I got a $3,000 check in my pocket for Tamla right now. This is Nancy was telling me that people try to come in, nurses want to come in and take her position. I told Nancy, I said, Nancy, we are loyal to Tamala. I said, God won't like our ways. I said, we are loyal. I said, remember, we wouldn't have this if it wasn't for Tamala. So we got to remember. You can't do nothing that would make God not like us. You don't use people until we don't need them anymore. God won't like you for that. And too many people got a curse on their life because they used you up and then when they thought they were up, God brought them right back down. I don't use people when it looked like I don't need them anymore. Hallelujah! She's been there for us. She's been there for us. She's been there for us. And God won't like us if we're not loyal. If we don't still act like we need people, even if it looked like we don't. You have to do things to make God like you. When the Memphis City Schools Out grant program tutoring, they overpaid us $30,000. Naturally asked us, what do we do with the money? I said, send it back. Send it back. We don't have to rob nobody. We don't have to take an extra dollar that don't belong to us because I want to make God like me. I want to do stuff in such a way that God will honor me. Good God Almighty. Preach Holy Ghost. See, if God likes you, if he knows that you won't hurt his people or use his people, when he knows you won't be low down, when he knows that he can trust you with a dollar, he'll bless you with millions. 
Your character means everything to the kingdom. That's why so many people have lost their blessings because we got low class people in our ear. And that low class person says something that makes sense. We will abandon our ways. We will abandon our principles and our morals for people that don't even have a relationship with God. That's why God liked Moses as much as he did because he knew his ways. He knew his ways. I thank God that before Natalie makes any decision, she always come to pass the kind of. No matter what people try to influence her, she's going to always say, Pastor Kaina, hallelujah, this was said, hallelujah. Isaiah 55 and 8, listen, what God said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. God said, I want to bless you, but, but your thoughts ain't like my thoughts. When I bless you, you trying to think about people who you can make look bad. I'm trying to bless you. You think about people who you're going to try to show off to. God said, I want to bless you, but your thoughts are all about trying to buy you the nicest car instead of bringing the tie back to the storehouse. God said, I really, I really want to give you even more, but your thoughts ain't my thoughts. God said, your ways ain't my ways. You like to show out. I like to show up. You ain't showing up for nobody. You ain't showing up for nobody. God said, my ways ain't your ways. Oh, God. God said, I want to bless you more, but if you get your ways right. If you get your ways right. Hallelujah. If you get your ways right. Hallelujah, Patita. I'm telling you what the Lord love. Hallelujah. When I'm loyal to people and I'm telling you I'm with you, I'm with you. I don't care what you're doing or not doing. I'm with you. Because what you got to fix and get right between you and God. But God put me in your life to make sure that I was a symbol of his love for you. Preach. Holy Ghost. Demons are symbols of the demons judgment of you. But saints are symbols of God's love for you. But most people, reverend, they don't follow God's word because they write in their own eyes. Proverbs 21 and 2, every man await is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the heart. Everybody doing their own thing instead of doing it God's way. Everybody doing their own thing. Everybody want to do stuff the way they want to do it. Why did God give us pastors? Why he give us pastors to feed us with knowledge and understanding? As I told you, knowledge going to always check with the pastor first. Hallelujah. To make sure I ain't doing it nobody way, but the way that he would want it to be done by God. Preach. Holy Ghost. Everybody doing what we want to do in our own eyes, and it's making God not like us. God said, I want you to do it my way. Because my ways are the right way. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 I told Bruce that Jalen Brunson in the NBA made 250, turned down over a 250 million dollar contract and only took 120, 130 million. Nobody does that in the NBA, Tamla. Nobody does that. But I told you a couple weeks ago, when you a real man or woman of God, my dad, you say, I make money. Money don't make me. When you a real man or woman of God, you're not identified by money. Because when you a real man or woman of God, you look good in Levi's. When you a real dear man or woman of God, if your weave ain't sharp, your heart is still right. If you're a real man or woman of God, you can live no matter where and turn that house like it's an estate if you're a real man or woman of God. Do you know how many people in the hospital got money and can't spend a dime? 
Do you know how many people in hospice got millions and can't spend a dime? We better wake up. There's some stuff in life that's worth more than money. You better find riches in lowering and how to put a smile on your children's face. You better learn how to find riches in hearing your children say they grace. You better learn how to find riches in seeing your children walk through them church doors. You better learn how to find riches in seeing your children give their tithes and offerings becoming tithers. How can I be happy about my children's relationship with God and they robbing God? I can only imagine how Bruce Daly Sr. feels when his son is sitting next to him, his grown 40-year-old son sitting next to him in Jesus, people church and worship. I can only imagine how he feels to see his son give thousands of dollars to the church every month, hundreds of dollars in love offered to the pastor every month. I can't even imagine how that feels. To see your child in love with God as much as you are. Baby, this wealth, this riches, this a blessing that you can't get from a paycheck. Hallelujah. You better learn how to find riches and lead your family in prayer. Listen, I'm telling you what the Lord loves. I'm telling you what the Lord loves. Good God, I'm about it. how much time I got? Okay, okay, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me seven minutes. You all got it? You got the countdown? Listen, I ain't met too many people that God like more than me. People feel the police, they show me photos, this person a millionaire. This person got this, this person got 50,000 church members. But my testimony is God likes me. I'm going to say I like you too. That needs to be your, if your testimony, God like me. God likes me. I'm not impressed by saying nothing but what God likes. Show me somebody God likes. Listen, I wasn't impressed when Superintendent Counter Cash invited me to go see President Obama when he was at BTW. I turned down the trip to see the president because I wasn't impressed. I ain't never heard of the president tithing to the house of the Lord. I ain't never seen him witnessing nobody. Impress me. When they was passed out stimulus checks, you gave everybody in America $11 a check. $11 a paper. That didn't impress me. So I'm not impressed by presidents. And I'm not impressed by businessmen. I'm not impressed by actors and athletes. I'm impressed by what God likes. <laughs> show me the offering envelope if you want to impress me show me how many souls they're winning if you want to impress me that's why we're so hypocritical in the eyes of God we teach stuff but the people we brag on are not the stuff we teach God can't like that hold on we preach stuff look on you but the people we brag on are not the people who represent the stuff that we preach. I only brag on y'all because y'all represent what I preach. I can't brag on these people I don't know. What they doing for God. You ain't told me nothing they doing for God. <laughs> Mother laughing. What, 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 you, what you sending it to me for? What is it about? I can't relate to him. Psalm 17 and 15. David said, as for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I will be satisfied when I awake in thy likeness. That's why good God loved David so much. Because David wanted to be in God's likeness. We want to be like little baby. We want to be like Kendra Lamar. We want to be like money bag yo. I think Mr. William Cash, our name is... Reverend Yo, Reverend Muddy Bag. <laughs> the devil bust the cash out tagging. Reverend, Reverend Money Bag Yo. What is Reverend Money Money Bag Yo? We want to be like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Gorilla. Did there be like Mike, like LeBron, the Funds. We want to be like everybody else but God. 
But the people that want to be like God, don't get mad when God show you how much you like them. <laughs> Damn, don't get mad when God show you how much he like them. Don't get mad when God show you how much he like them. Listen, it's obvious who God like because he'll show you. He showed the world how much he liked Davis is Adam. God will show you who he likes. They mad at you because it's evident that God likes you. I'm trying to get to something. I won't finish this. Let me get to at least one of these points. Can I give you three things that I know that will make God like you? I ain't going to get to number one. <laughs> okay. Okay, I may tell you the other two quickly. I won't get to all of them. Number one, you got to like the church. That'll make God like you. That's why God don't respect these people because they don't love his church. Jesus said in Matthew 16, 18, upon this rock will I build my church. God built the church. Jesus built the church. The church would not be in existence if it wasn't for God. The word church only was created by God. Forget the people in church. I'm talking about the church. We can't let church people run us away from the church. How are we going to let church people run us away from the institution that God built? 4400 Hickory Hill is bigger to me than the White House. It's bigger to me than the Empire State Building. I'm talking about the institution. We must defend the church. Don't let people run you away from the church. We say, them people ain't no good. Them people. Why are you going to lead a pastor with the people, all the people that ain't no good? Hey, but at least some of y'all that's good need to stay here and help me. I'm leaving the church. They ain't no good. Look at how she treat her. Look at how she treat her. Look, you're going to leave me with that. It looked like you ought to stay here to help the pastor. You see all, you see all, you see all the people killed that ain't no good. And you leave me with nothing but devils. If you see the people ain't no good, be like Sister Matthew. Help the pastor. You be the good that the church needs. You be the good person that the church needs. Why leave us with all the people that ain't no good? Jesus saw the, Jesus saw the money changes in the church. He didn't run out the church. He just ran out the money changes. David said, Psalm 122 and 1, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Psalm 27 and 4, David said, one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire of his temple. That's what God loves. He loves, if we love his church so much, that's why do you think God established the tithes? Matthew 3 and 10 will show you he established the tithes so that the church would have something. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there may be me in my house. God loved the church so much he established the institution of tithing to make sure the lights could stay on. The church could stay clean. The church can stay painted. We can have food for folks. We can help people when they didn't have nothing to help themselves. God loved the church so much. He commanded that we take care of the church. Man, this is... But you got to like what God like. Where said number two, you better, look, you better like looking like Christ. You better like looking like Christ. Philippians 2 and 5. Let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. Number three, you better like coming clean. What does that mean, coming clean? The Bible tells us, the Bible tells us, listen to what the word tells us. If you don't know how to come clean. First John 1 and 8, 
if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know why God don't like most of these pastors and preachers? Because they act like they perfect and they liars. God can't respect nobody. They act like they sin free and we sin earth. That's why he don't like most of these people. Because they don't confess their sins. They try to act holier than thou, but we put everybody else down so God can respect you. But if you come real before God and say, God, I need help more than everybody else. If you come real before God, say, God, not my sister, not my mother, not my brother, but it's me, oh God, standing in the need of prayer. Hallelujah. If you love everybody the same way God loves us, he will start liking us. But he wants us to come clean. He don't want to act like that we better than everybody else. And we talking about everybody else. And we got just as much mess as everybody else got. God can't like you like that. Jesus went to the cross so we could be likable. Somebody stand on your feet and give the Lord a victory. Hand clap of praise.